of the pandemic? We're still seeing strong demand, which obviously comes through our retail partners. There has been um, a, a level of focus from retailers to ensure that their shelf sets are um, uh, more refined, uh, more honed in, and clearly when, when a company like ours with leading brands, that is going to continue to help as we, we will continue to win and, and ensure that we have the right shelf space. Among some of their bigger brands is Uncrustables, which continues to do well. Smucker hopes to grow to be a half a billion dollar business. The question on this stock, Wilfred, and on a lot of these food stocks is can they keep the momentum going? They had such a big boost during the pandemic as people flocked to their grocery store, stocked up on packaged food and went to the big brands. Now Smucker tells me, Smucker of Smucker, tells me that it, it's still happening. You're still seeing an elevated eat from home and they're gonna keep those people, they're spending more on marketing. Uh, but that, that's sort of why some of these stocks haven't gone up as much as you would have seen previously when you're seeing such strong results. They only expect net sales to decline two to 3% for 2022, which is a lot better than analysts thought. Smucker of Smucker is ninth generation. Fifth, fifth, fifth. Oh, I thought you said ninth. Fifth. Ninth leader, fifth generation. Anyway. I don't know, nine. Okay, I don't know where I got that number from. He took uh, over from his uncle. It is impressive. They've, they've kept I it in the uh, family. I hope you told Charlie Babrinskoy to, to tune in. He loves this stock. He does love this stock. Value stock he, he thinks doesn't get enough love. Uh, still ahead, two CEOs.